he just like closed his eyes and leaned into it like I had never seen him do before. He was one of our priority cats. He had a massive growth on the bottom of his paw. Tail had been broken in multiple places. You know, you think a feral cat's gonna like attack you if you try to bandage their paw, but he was really good. He ultimately was like, ah, just do it and get it over with. Even an old, battle-scarred, terminally ill, broken feral cat still has a lot of value and is worth saving. We wanted to give him a chance to live his sunset months in comfort. It was a long adjustment for him. You know, he was essentially like an elderly gentleman who's lived his whole life a certain way and then all of a sudden is forced to live completely differently. I just put them down and they were like, ooh, what's this new toy? And just kind of swarmed into his lair. And ever since that happened, he loved the kittens and he got so excited when they would come out and he could play with them. I just will bring them into his area. He knows they're there and he observes them for a while, kind of from a distance. And then if they run up to him and interact with him, then he'll start giving them baths and pick them up, taking them with him places. They're orphans, so, you know, it's hard to keep them clean. They get food all over them. They need a grandpa to style their hair and to teach them all of the grandpa lessons about how to be a cat. He really stepped into that role with them and they just piled on him. He definitely helps them learn bite inhibition, like how hard is too hard to bite and still keep your friends. Kittens sort of get to that stage where they bite everything and they bite really hard because they don't know that it hurts. And so he helps, he's got his like kitten flattening paw and it just rolls them with his paw and just smushes them and like puts his face on them for, <laughs> for a minute until they kind of settle down and then lets them go. But it's, it's really good for them because he's teaching them manners. He's, he's gotten more confident. He'll walk around, he'll come up close to me. We thought he had maybe four months to, to live uh, based on his condition. He's already outlived his initial prognosis. To see him feeling so good, is, is, it's pretty amazing. He's expanding his world a little bit, which makes me happy because I don't think he ever got a chance to be a kitten, and he's having so much fun.